Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I received an email several weeks ago from a young man who inherited his father's motorcycle. And he said, I don't want to work on it. I'm just cleaning it. And I have a lot of questions about it. Dad worked on it. I didn't. And he said, I'm cleaning on the left side and there's this big Allen plug. What's it for? What, what's it do? I just happen to be working on one that has one. This is a 1977 XLCR, and we're talking about this big Allen here. This big Allen was in early models up until the twin cam when they went to fuel injection. This is a timing hole, and in it we will see the timing marks on the flywheels. What we want to do is put our thumb over the spark plug, rotate the motor, until you feel compression on your finger then you look in it and get the piston as high as possible now if we're I'm talking if you are an engine builder it's a whole different ball game I'm trying to talk to those that don't know about collapsing the push rods watching the intake go up and down and the exhaust stain and getting top dead center but that's what we're trying to do is trying to get the piston in the position where the spark plug would fire so if my camera person will take a look in here and I will bump up, past it up. There is the timing mark. It's a line on this model. Now, on other models, it could be a double dot, sideways, line. Harley-Davidson played with so many different timing marks. But on this motor, on this Sportster in 1977, the line marks 40 degrees before top dead center. That means in a circle, this would be top dead center. 40 degrees before top dead center, the spark is supposed to light it up before the piston gets to the top and starts going back down. So now that I have the timing mark there, hmm, okay, I want to check my timing. I can set it statically or dynamic. If I was going to set it dynamically, here's where the fun starts. Back in the early days when I started in this, I had an old technician have a shovel head. He took the plug out, walked over, got his mask on, and I said, what's going to go on? He says, I want you to start the bike up and go to 2,000 RPM. That's going to make a mess. Oh, yeah, that's going to make a mess. And he would grab his timing light with his shield down, and a whole bunch of oil would be starting to come out, but he would look for that line. And if he didn't see the line, he would have me on the other side bump the timing forward or reverse till he found that line. Then it was marked dynamically, checking it. But let's share, if we don't do it dynamic, let's do it statically. It's a lot cleaner and a lot easier. So I've got it on compression stroke. I've got my line in here, smack dab in the middle. If I wanted it a little advanced, I'd have it towards the back. If I want a little retarded, I want it a little in the front, but I want it smack dab in the middle. So how do I check it statically? Let's go to the other side. Now, for you guys who have some sportsters, you would have a timing hole right there in the middle on an evolution but on a sportster of this year it's on that side big motors it's on that other side but some of you sportster owners will have it right here and that's convenient because this is where the timing is adjusted on this model now yes you're zooming in and you see it's a dyna it's not period correct this guy has done great job with this xlcr but this is a superior ignition system for this bike i have put you know, points and shovels, and I've got electronic early Harley-Davidson, but the Dyna system is simple and works fantastic. It's two wires, blue and a white. White goes to the power side of the coil, blue goes to the other side, you're done. That's it. Now we're going to time this. So what I would do is this has, uh, how do I explain it? This here has a rotor with a magnet on it, and this is the sensor. When the flyweights behind here get revved up to 2,000, this is going to advance. And when it does, it'll break a field in here and tell the spark to go off. Well, how do I do that statically without running the motorcycle? Well, I, what I do is I take the spark plugs out, and I'll lay the spark plug right on the head so I can see it and I can hear it. And that's the major part of it, so I can hear it. Then I'll reach over, and I will turn on the ignition. 
I'll make sure the on switch is on. Then I will sit down here and I will loosen this just a little bit. And then I will move the sensor until I rotate this. I'll have my cameraman go up to the spark plug. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but when I advance the weights here to the max, I should spark. It does. So that's where I will lock down the two screws on either side, and I am statically set at that timing mark on the other side. And yes, it will be a few degrees off, and if I want to get it zeroed in, I will put the mask on or I will put the timing light on. But this will get the bike started. And that's what I need on this motorcycle because I just changed the cams in it to the PB pluses and I'm putting the ignition on and firing it up and making sure everything's running all right. So I hope this answers anybody's question who has an older model and said, what's the big Allen on the left side or Sportsters on the right side it has to do with the timing plug. Whatever happened to it, it went out with carburetors and fuel injection came in and the timing is done by computers. Okay, so back to the old school. I hope this helped you out. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.